This is a Geolink series flow calibration video. Before we begin the flow calibration procedure, we will need a graduated catch container and a stopwatch. To prepare the machine for calibration, we're going to put the parking brake on, fill the sprayer with fresh water, start the machine to operating temperature, select a field, and start or create a spray job. We're going to go into the spray controller and make this big screen. The first thing is to set the machine to manual mode, start spraying. To do this, we're going to turn the pump on and all three section states on. Then we'll also turn the master switch on. The 1750, the master switch is on the console. The 5800 will have the console switch as well as the virtual master switch. The virtual master will turn green on both machines to indicate booms are spraying. We want to make sure the machine is set to around 40 psi for calibration. Next, go into the flow meter calibration wizard. This wizard will start and walk through the flow calibration procedure. In order to hit next, we return the master boom on. At this point, the sprayer is spraying. As soon as we hit the next button, the monitor will start counting the amount of flow going through the flow meter. We will now go back to the back of the machine and do a 15 second catch test with our catch container and stopwatch. Once the catch test is complete, we will move to the front of the machine and wait till the timer on the screen hits 60 seconds. Then we'll stop the spray with the master boom valve. And click next to continue. Now that the catch test is complete, we can do our math calculation to find the total volume sprayed. We're first gonna take our volume sprayed in ounces and times it by four to get it into 60 seconds. We're then going to take it by 12 for the total nozzles across the back and divide it by 128 ounces per gallon. This will give us total volume sprayed during the flow calibration procedure. We will enter that calibration number here and click next to continue. Now we will OK that flow calibration and now your flow meter is calibrated. 